Hi there and welcome to this fourth session dealing with basic features of Revit MAP 2012. In this session we'll take a look at how to draw a simple ductwork and make an interference check between a linked Revit architecture project and the new ductwork created in Revit MAP. Like in previous sessions, we'll make a new project based on the system default US metric template. We will insert a linked Revit project made in Revit architecture. Browse to whatever you have available and position it origin to origin. In case you don't have a Revit architecture project, you should be able to continue the session based on a clean template. In this case, I have a simple house with a few rooms. And a pitched roof. And I notice that within the template, there are already a few levels created and in the architectural model there's a level uh, called ground floor and one indicating where my ceiling will be placed. This is important to remember when starting uh, creating um, the Revit uh, ductwork. From another view we will have a situation um, probably jump to the southern one where we will have a duct running up from a room behind the store going up to the ceiling following along the mouse and bending down again to the ceiling. In order to draw it I'll jump to my floor plan. I'll go to the home ribbon, make a duct, select a round duct a tease connection and I will probably start somewhere around a meter above level 1. Apply this and click. I don't have to apply first, I just need to get started. Um, and the next destination should be offset at let's say 3300 above uh, as level 1 and now I need to apply in order for the um, pipes to go up in a vertical orientation. I will now draw the line of the ducts and bend it down to a diffuser place somewhere in the ceiling by once again uh, changing this into a level which corresponds to the architectural level for the ceiling. I'll apply this um, once again um, and it might not be possible in this view, but if we jump to the southern one, we'll see now that we have a duct system, more or less like sketched before, and we can also check it in 3D. Let's go to the east facades and see what it looks like, and we notice also that the duct work doesn't um, collide or interfere with the roof construction. This can of course be checked visually but it can also be done by going to the collaborate ribbon where we can make a small interference check and we want to check the uh, current project and everything that we created within them and make uh, or test how it interferes with everything that's being imported from the linked uh, Revit architecture project. We say OK and this should give us a small report 
telling us that there uh, are a couple of the ducts that interferes uh, with the ceiling. That's probably where it goes up and where it goes down. And um, the same thing applies for the fittings, uh, probably because they are very close to each other. Uh, and because the ceiling probably has a thickness of some kind. So now it can be up to the engineer to report that back by exporting a small file or uh, notify the architect um, um, in case there is a problem. Okay, I hope this gave you a small insight of how to uh, sketch a very simple system. In session 4 we'll look at a little bit more advanced method and I hope you'll follow along. Bye for now.